I'm Angus Stevens. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Measure Australia. We're a drone services business. So Measure Australia provides outsourced drone services uh, to clients across local and national networks. So we provide a data outcome to clients based on what their requirement is. So if a client is in the real estate space or they require survey data or anything like that, we collect that from the drone and provide it to them and then we manage everything in the background. So we manage the staff, the insurances, the regulations and everything that's associated with an aviation business. So it does depend on what space they're in, uh, but generally it's uh, photo or video data, whether that's normal imagery or infrared or something like that. Um, and then we also collect geospatial data, so 3D survey data. Um, and that's very useful for large area surveying or uh, for building clients and things like that. As drones become more widely used, it means that people are coming up with amazing uh, use cases for them. So recently we conducted the first uh, facade inspection on a large building in Piermont, uh, first time in Australia that's been done, and we provide a full engineer's report to the building owner. So that took engineers off ropes um, and meant that the whole process on site was done using a drone, and then those drone images were processed uh, off site and the data provided to the client. So that's a really interesting use case. To start in the drone industry, specific skill sets probably aren't needed, but an appreciation for the technology could be useful. As a business, we try and hire people who don't have um, interest in the technology unless they're operating drones, because that for us allows us to enhance our unique selling point of being a data business. If you're trying to start out as a drone operator, however, obviously understanding the technology can be quite useful. It's very easy to train though on drones, um, and so Finding the information that's out there is quite easy and then just spending time on the equipment is the most useful thing. So if someone's thinking of starting in the drone space, you know, get a drone for Christmas, get a drone for your birthday and then go and fly it somewhere that's safe and just get some time up on the aircraft because at the end of the day, anywhere where you've got a skill, the longer you spend on that skill, the more advanced you'll become at it. And, and because the drone space is so new, and it's evolving so rapidly, there are a plethora of opportunities out there for people. You know, there, there's our business, there's data operators, there's maintainers, there's all these people who do various things. And it's very easy to go and get some experience with those people and see how the industry works.